Okay. And so what do I mean by this? Y'all have seen some folks who are going crazy. You've seen some folks who had to go to a mental hospital. And what happens in a mental hospital? Folks in a mental hospital don't want to take their medications. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And so when you don't want to take your medications, what do they got to do? They got to put you in a straitjacket. They got to force you to take your medication. And so God is saying, since you don't want to submit to me, I'm going to force it out of you. My goodness. My goodness. So you prolong in the process because you won't let God be God. And sometimes we enter into the situation. <laughs> we enter into the equation. We're not even, we, we're not made to be solved. My goodness. You know how you solving a math problem, a situation. I'm not a math genius. And don't ever hold me accountable to math because that's not my suit. Right? I, I do love money. Or I will count some money. <laughs> but let's, let's, let's look at a math equation for a problem. You ever notice that when sometimes when you pluck the wrong thing into the equation, it throws off the whole, the whole math problem, right? And you will not you will not equate the same answer because you've entered in whether it was a variable, whether it was an extra decimal, whether it was an extra number. And because you entered yourself into the equation, you're not getting what you're looking for. My God, you're not getting what God is trying to give you because you're too busy trying to insert yourself. And you think you're busy enough and you holy enough and you got it all together to be God. And God is saying, take a seat back, right? Take a seat back because you prolonging your situation. And the longer that you prolong your situation, God is going to continue to wreak havoc in your life. He's going to continue to show you, okay, you want to run from me? I'm going to put you through some stuff to make you come to me even harder in the situations in our life. And I wanted to talk about, um, you're talking about hurt. And I wanted to address family because I don't know what it is. I feel like, you know, I'm getting the notion that somebody, um, and I feel like this is a lot of folk, you know, we got problems in our families. And when I say this, um, forgiveness is hard, right? Getting, getting over trauma, getting over things that happened years ago is hard. And God is saying, you, it's, it's time out to stop running from your family. And for a situation, as an example, right, there may be a family member that may have traumatized you years ago, and you don't want nothing to do with them. Right. You don't want to you don't want to sit there and, and listen to them. Maybe they've been trying to apologize to you. Right. Maybe they've been trying to um, whatever it is, um, allow you to be healed. But you're running from that. Right. You cannot lo no longer run from that. So. Here